Hi guys, so today we're doing the Girlfriend Does Boyfriend's Makeup video. Um, if you saw our first video, you'll know that we did the Boyfriend Does My Makeup video and he screwed it up. It was a masterpiece. It was terrible. So now I'm going to show him what real makeup looks like and let's hope I don't miserably fail. Okay, so let's start with foundation. I had had a, um, what's it called? Primer, but I ran out. Open the thing up. It's all the same thing to me. Okay, so there's this, the Super Stage 24 Hour Fresh Look Longwear Foundation in colour ivory. My hands are too small, so I can't do that thing everyone does. Ah. Uh. Then I'm gonna squirt it on the back of my hand. Why? Why do you put it on the back of your hand? Because that's how humans do it. Can you just like backhand me? Come on. <laughs> You're so beautiful. Then I'm gonna use this blender, and I know it's not the cleanest blender. Do not judge me. <laughs> it's a butt plug. No, it's not. It's a beauty blender, and all you girls will know that. Even most of the boys will. And you dip it in there and get a tiny bit. Close your face. I mean your eyes. Close my face. <laughs> and I'll turn it that way so they can see. And we're just gonna dab it in nicely. I already feel like a new man. <laughs> Okay. What color am I turning? <laughs> He's looking so pretty. Uh, turning into my little lady. Thank you. I like girls too, so it's fine. Oh my god. What? Don't judge. Mm. Every girl has a little bit of lesbian in her. What is that so? Huh? This is just a bit darker than your natural skin tone, so pretty much. So I look like I've actually gone out in the sun. Yeah, you little vampire. Uh -huh. He's a vampire, pretty okay. much. Only come out at night. I'm not gonna bother to go out there because your hair covers it up, so. That's. Uh, if you do it the right way, you'll spread it down the neck so you don't have a white neck. Why do bite marks never cover up with foundation? Yes, I bet them. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. It's always awkward when you go to the doctors and you're in a relationship and they're like, um, what are the <laughs> those marks? I'm like, just bite marks. <clears throat> Put some more on your chin. So I had a hair on it. Lovely. I cover lips. That way it creates a base to put another colour on. I see. We're going to have to crop this bit out because there's too much blending going on. Mm -hmm. Can you turn your face towards me? Okay, now that is the foundation. You look drained already. Mm -hmm. Don't you like the feel of it going on your face? Like, I love that feeling. Ah. You will love it. Okay, so concealer. 
We're then going in with this concealer. I have no idea what it is because it's so old. The name has rubbed off it. So I'm going to put some nice mouldy concealer on his face. Mouldy. <laughs> it's not mouldy, is that? And we're just going to put it down the bridge of the nose to highlight that a little bit. We're going to put it above the lip, put it on the chin, and most importantly under the eyes. Now I like to do it in a slight triangle shape to slim the nose, which is what I do with my nose. So it's not like a personal thing, it's just a classic makeup trick. And above that eyelid. Then we're going to use this mini beauty blender, which is adorable, to blend it in. Yeah. It's cute, you know it. Mm. It's just a mixture of slight rubbing and <laughs> tapping. <laughs> Can you turn towards me? If he hadn't straightened his hair, I would have done his hair as well. Hmm. You would have loved it. <laughs> now that's so far. Okay. Then we're gonna go in with bronzer. Um, this is just the PS bronze palette which I got from Primark. If you're English you'll definitely know that place. Um, and these are eyeshadows and then these are two bronzing colours. Because his face is already slightly tan I'm going to be using this bronzing colour to highlight his cheekbones, slim the nose, highlight the jawline and the forehead so it gives a tan look. And no I'm not doing the forehead because you can't see his forehead so forget that bit. Okay, makeup brush, righty ho. I'm going in with, I know they need cleaning, with the stippling brush by Real Techniques, which looks like that, and it's got quite a nice firm texture so it really helps hold the makeup in the right position. And we're just going to tap that against there. Can you turn your face towards me? The trick with bronzer is to never go past the corner of the eye. So if you go to the outer corner of the eye, go down in a line, you do not want to go past that point or it's going to make your face look weird. So, and then you just go up on the cheekbone. So obviously if the eyes are very close to your face, you really don't need much of this. Can you turn your face towards me? Right. <coughs> I did not do that. Okay. This side. Can you suck your cheeks in? Good little fishy. Mm -hmm. We're not going to go past the corner of the eye. So we're just highlighting that a little bit. Okay, and we're going to put that on the sides of the nose, so turn your face towards me please. And that side. And then I'm going to go in with the lighter colour for the jawline because you don't want to make that look too dark or it looks blatantly obvious that it's makeup. And you don't want to get too close to the chin. Okay, do you want to look at the camera now? So, that's so far. Okay, we're then going in with blush and I'm going to go in with this blusher which is not too pink. Um, and this is the powder blusher in Peach Haze. You love this. Mm. I totally love this. And then we're using the Use Spicy Black brush 
number 27 because you want it delicate not a firm brush now smile so happy mm. I'm sorry I, I will be nice to you later and you're putting it on the apples of the cheeks the tip of the nose you would put it on the forehead usually and then you're going to put it on the chin just a little bit and that just adds a bit of a rosy blush or peachy blush more like okay we're then going in with the highlighter and i'm going to be using the spicy spicy brush number 29 and this is the ps pure glow highlighter i got it from primark as well and it's actually the best highlighter i've ever used so i'm gonna struggle to open that okay fine and we're just gonna rub it in and do a slight tap again now with highlighter you want to highlight the bridge of the nose and mix with the bronzer that'll just give it a nice shine then you also want to highlight below the cheekbone where you put the bronzer and above either side and I also highlight just above the lip which really makes the lips look nice and on the chin okay so we're then going in with the Rimmel Clear Complexion slash Tint Ra Radiux Clarifying Powder which just sets things in and creates that quite finished look for the base of the face and I just do that and you just dab it all over because you don't want to move the stuff you've already put on in a weird way. Okay, now we're going to go on to eyeshadow. So, we're using the Technique palette. I don't know where I got this from. I think I got it on a plane actually. I don't know. And it's broken, I know. So, let's see what shade we're going to use. Okay, we're gonna go in with this shade here. And I'm going to be using the new spicy brush in number 18. So, I just wanna tap it so you don't sprinkle the eyeshadow onto the face. Close your eye. And we're just gonna start with the outer edge and we're just doing the lid and then we're going to blend it into the crease. Tell me, does that not make your eye feel amazing? Mm. No. Well, I'm wearing contacts, so it's like... Mopping against them? Yeah. It's a different feeling, I guess. Okay, and I'm gonna do that on the other side, which you can't really see. <laughs> okay, we're then going in with um, <laughs> this color, and we're gonna go from the crease upwards and the thing that's broke more oh, nice okay and we just want to stop just below we reach the brow bone because that's where you want to highlight things I'm not a makeup professional so if everything I say sounds like shit don't be surprised did I just get it on your nose okay that's gone not happy right Okay, I'm then going in with the spicy brush in number 20 to highlight it and as you can see the brush is rather a round end and I'm just wiping off the excess powder and I'm just using a white to highlight just under the brow bone and then in the corner of the eye we're just going to use a gold colour so I'm not going to really bother to show you because we all know what that kind of looks like. Okay, 
Okay. We're then going to go in with the spicy brush in number nine, just to put a darker brown underneath the eye, so just below the bottom waterline to accent the eye. So I'm just using a nice dark brown shade look up. I won't get it in the eye. <laughs> okay now we're gonna do eyeliner and I'm probably gonna mess his face up now okay if I find my eyeliner where would I put it exactly found it so I'm using the Rimmel London exaggerated eyeliner and it's supposed to be waterproof but that's bullshit so don't get it and I just like to wipe the excess off, otherwise it can be just, like, scary. Okay, can you close your eye? Try and keep it as still as possible. We're just going from the inner corner to the outer corner. And we're just creating... Can you look at me? Close your eye. Actually no, keep it open so I can see. And we're just going to spread it slightly under the bottom eye. Close the eye. Look up. Okay, so turn. That's the wing on that eye. So it's quite a thick wing, but because he has quite big eyes, it looks nice. Big eyes are good, okay? My eyes are ridiculous size. My mum gave me small eyes, but she had bigger eyes than me. Everyone actually always makes fun of my eyeball size. Mm. Oh, I keep not signing eyes. Can you look up? I know that doesn't feel good, but... Close the eye. Mm, close it. That eye didn't go so well, but that's the other eye. Um, it's because it, the line that goes straight above the top eyelash went a bit higher than the other line but I'm going to mix a grey to blend that out rather than leave it and we're just going to use the brush that I used originally and use a dark grey, close the eye close the other eye dark grey um, more of that Okay, look up the camera and there are his wings. This needs to go under the eye because the other did and I just poked you in the eyeball. I'm really sorry about that. Okay. I need to put it under the eye. Close the eye. Actually look up. Look 
look at the camera. So they both kind of go under the eye. That one looks darker because it's wet. Okay. Then we're going to go in with a black eye pencil along the rest of the bottom waterline. But you don't want it too melodramatic right near the corner of the eye, which is take. It says take a brow, so I'm assuming it's five brow, but I, whatever. Could open the eyes, maybe. It's difficult to get the colour to come off, but it's very mild, so that's good. Then I'm using a dark brown eyeshadow to do his eyebrows. We're using the same bronzer palette, but within it we're using the dark brown. Can you look at me, baby? I'd like to do a straight line like this at the bit that meets just reaches the nose. And I thought I'd just get thinner as we go out. So we want to pack that on. I think eyebrows are not really something that needs to be done, but if we're going to go all out. Right. So, eyebrows kind of look like that. You actually still look like a total guy. Really? Yeah. You're so quiet, you sound really sad or something. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go in with this lilac coloured waterproof lip liner. I don't know what the company is. I'll avoid the lip piercing as much as possible. Can you hold that? Thanks. Okay. Can you like stick them out a little bit. No, not that way, like this. I like to create like a straight line as I go above the bow of the lip. Lift the bottom lip up. Okay, wipe that off the lip piercing. Look at me. Oh wait, you are. I don't know why I can't see. Now look at the camera. <laughs> You're so pretty. Uh -huh. Okay, that's the finished makeup look. So do you want to go close up to the camera and show them in the face? Like, yeah, like, what do you think of it? Pretty. <laughs> oh, that's my boyfriend with makeup. So cute. Oh my god. You look so pretty. <laughs> Thank you. I didn't put mascara on you. Hold on. Let me just put the mascara on. <sighs> now this is the thing where you blink. So when I say blink. Open your eye. Blink. 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 There. That's that eye down. Blink. 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 Blink, blink, done. Do I get in your hair? Mm. So put your eyeball right to the camera. Ah, look how pretty his eyes are. Buh. He looks so pretty. Well, that is the doing my moi, moi friends. 
<laughs> boyfriend's makeup video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and it's definitely going to take a lot of editing seeing as this is so long. Anyways, I'll see you later guys. Bye. Bye.